black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So the theme of today's video is, as you can see here, miscellaneous stuff I need to use up. You guys ever just have stuff you need to use up? I got a frozen special half rack of ribs. I got these spring rolls and this lettuce that's gonna rust out soon, half an onion, a tomato, and then uh, some, la some sauces here and stuff. But you know, stuff I gotta use up. So mix and match meal, you know what I mean? Let's just have it. All right, ribs in first in the foiled pan. And I keep it extremely simple with liberal salt and pepper. And just a tap it in, just a tap it in. And then we do full coverage as to create the steam pocket. Into the oven, convection bake 325 for two and a half to three hours. Spraying rolls is definitely going airborne. And by that I mean air fried today. We're gonna eliminate the deep fryer today. It's a little dirty. I gotta clean it out. These guys, 350, like eight to 10 minutes. Side salad, you say? Coming right out. Chini time. We're rocking the old sauce blend today. We got the original barbecue from Kraft and we got Princess Diana. Whoa, whoa, Diana sauce. <laughs> Gourmet honey garlic. Nice little half and half. And then for the spraying rolls, going with that sweet and sour. Two and a half hours. Let's see what we're working here. Watch yourself for steam. It will be steamy. Do not burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. Ah, all right, all right. All right, I see you. We must lather. Gonna do a couple coats here. We go coat one and then we go throw it in the broiler on high. We watch it, we coat it again. And we build the bark is what they call it, I believe the bark on the outside of the rim so first coat in and we'll be back for a couple more aha coat one firming up into bark we must embark on another coat journey i wonder how many we should do maybe three i think three or four maybe three with a uh, four as the final uh, just like make it wet all right, so I skipped ahead one. This is gonna be final lather coat to make them nice and just saucé. And we're gonna add a little something to them here in just one sec. Can crispy onions be bad on ribs? I don't think so. Well, we're about to find out. Mmm, all right, we'll let these rest. All right, let's give this a little Sally Dressy Raphael. <laughs> Shout out to you if you can actually pinpoint that reference. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Ranch, just slathered. But I like to do this lately. I mix ranch with something vinegary too. It's amazing. And it's nice and cold. Gotta have it cold. Time to plate it up. Go ahead and bring in these absolute beauticians right here. Look at that. There you go. Spring roll kingdom here. I got this little nappy down here so they don't slide around. So we can build ourselves a spring roll pyramid, if you will. Maybe not quite pyramid, but you know what I mean. A wall of spring rolls. Then, of course, the sweet and sour extra sauce in the back and this is our random throw together use it up style plate 
let's get deep all right y'all yo and what up <laughs> thank you for joining me on a gotta use it throw together mix and match plate i did take it off the plate actually because it was just getting ruckus anyhow i've got the ribs cut now these are kind of coming to a cool and this little salazar here is going to be a very tricky thing to eat so i think we're going to have to do some cycling out of things but i want to get to a crispy rib real bad right away and this is the one that's looking viva en fuego Oh, the meat's more on this side. Whoops. You guys already know that there's not enough sauce. <laughs> that might be a little bit too much, but there we go. That's going to be a good ass plate. So tender. So incredibly tender. I did two hours and 45. See, just came right off at that 350. When you just trap them in the steam like that. They just come out so amazing and easy. Like it's the most ribs are such an easy thing to make. I used to think like, oh man, look in my head when I was younger, I was like, ribs must be a difficult dish. Not at all. Quite literally just like, set it and forget it for real. All right. Larshi blow. I will say when you have a, anytime you have a half rack of ribs in the gotta use it up pile, that's a good day. It's got to be some of my favorite food, for sure. The crispy onions were 100% the uh, correct call, the correct addition. All right. All the power to the sweet and sour. Kind of a weird combo, but also not really, because I feel like Chinese spots do offer ribs fairly often, or if not always. Mm. But these are just some uh, super basic veggie, like appetizer, put them on at Christmas. Spring rolls. Nothing too cray cray. My voice seems extra chill today for some reason. I noticed when I was making the video, it was more like deep in the register. <laughs> Not on purpose, it just kind of like is what it is, it's just happening for some reason. Don't know why that happens. Sometimes it does though. It's weird. All right. I don't even know how to address this salad really, but maybe we'll focus you down right on it. It's just cause like, it's so hard to get like the dressing down into the bowl, you know? 
and everything's just purging on the top, but we love a good cold, crispy salad around here with the sh these shaved onions. That's how onions should be in a salad. Super thin, nice and mandolin shape. First bite with a chini. Mm. Come on. Why is a cold, simple salad with this dressing combination right now so good? Garden-esque, if you if you will. And I don't care what anybody says. It gets a bad rap, but iceberg lettuce is the best salad lettuce. It's good to mix, to mix it with stuff too. Spring mix, arugula. I feel like romaine's kind of in its same neighborhood. If I was watching this video right now, hungry, and saw somebody eating this salad, my mouth would start to water. No. Just knowing there's that, that vinaigrette. That pepperoncini bite. It's almost like when you see somebody eating sour candy, you can almost like start to taste it in your mouth when you watch. Sour Skittles, for example. Speaking from recent and direct experience, I randomly found this guy mm, I really this younger dude he rocks a hat or like toques. He does ASMR but uh mainly like smoking like and vapes and bongs and shit but he also does like a little bit of food content he does like a little mix of content super good channel though i can't remember the name but he's always super lit in all his videos but he was eating Sour Skittles. And I could taste them in my mouth as we was eating them. I'm like, oh man, I know exactly what that's like. You literally start to salivate just watching it. It's really weird. Oh man, these are so good. Holy crap. Express. Mm. 
the sauce blend. With the crispy O's and they're cooked so perfectly. Tender, like not jiggly. Oh man. This is a, this is a seller. On the cart, on the food cart, maybe a special one day. Maybe I'll learn how to make my own style. Maybe put a twist on them, my own style. Vietnamese style spring rolls. Make them like more mini like this. And do these crispy ribs, crispy onion ribs. With a rendition of Vietnamese style spring rolls. They actually pair up real nice together. I usually have ribs with like fries or something like that, so it's like a nice similarly crunchy type thing, you know? I don't want these to end. That's how much I love them right now. You ever find that pocket on a food where you're like, so into it, you're like, oh, and you have to be over now? Please don't be over now. Just magically, Replenish. <laughs> All right, let's switch it up. Let's see what barbecue sauce on uh, these are like, you know. I kinda like it better. I'll be honest with you, the sweet and sour sauce is not the greatest sweet and sour sauce that I've ever tasted. It's all right, but it's kind of, it's not, I don't know, something's not quite right about it. Mm, what a saucy meal. With everything. Be honest with you, that was one of the better things I've eaten in like in really enjoyable things I've eaten in a long time. As like a random thing in my fridge, I'm like kind of got to put it together. Like that was really good, <laughs> like stupid good. perfect ending. All right. Try crispy onions on your ribs. Maybe dip your spring rolls in barbecue sauce. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Okay. But you can also eat good live well and stay true. So do that too. Okay. Bye.